What is up everybody? My name is CTBTR and welcome back to another video and this is the final part aka the last episode for the CL City project to show you guys around and what's going on here and today we're about to go over the final part of the CL City CL East. We already kind of covered CL um, CL West and now let's get on to CL East. Also, I forgot within the last episode, there's also store another store down here too. And also, there's a inspiration inspiration Mario Mario track, the, the very first one actually from the very first game, a Mario Kart, which is rain, the Rainbow Road. And I decided to place it in here. It's it's pretty cool. I done it very a good job, but. Be careful while using this, but if if this is gonna get released as possible, but yeah, so we're today we're gonna look into EL, the CL East, just to be very clarified. Clarified. Also, we will get to this hidden button that I will get to the end, and there's a fact right behind my own house. So whenever you pop up in here. That is the only way you can see it. Anyways, so let's start off with something very simple. We got the CL Transparent, which that is the name. Now, with this building, it's very cool. It's mostly transparent besides the X to let you know that, that there's a building right here. Then we got this stone tower right here which it should be the right name and then we got also another set of rental houses including villager houses too and we got Luis's house right over here I spelt I basically us uh, uh, built his own right here built his own house right here so that way it's there so and then we got the villager house here another one like I said and we got a desert house but this is just like placement and then we got CL Center and the, and the Stairs Tower. The reason why it's called that, it's the same thing as the one over there. But if you look, it goes around. So from this point, this point, this point, and this point, you, you get the name of it. The name of it, I'm going to say. Now let's go over here. We got the CL uh, Lookout Tower. And this is actually, could be also as a fun fact, but it's also a unknown fact that nobody has ever heard and I'm gonna say it in this video this these stairs right here that you're seeing and looking at I took inspiration of a world I created on the Xbox 360 right before I switched on the Nintendo switch and that's where all this has started and then moved it all this into the PC and now this is where it's gonna end up resting here so the way how I got the inspiration is called the happy smiley face world and that's where I took the inspiration and placed it in here it's pretty much a zombie type building pretty much then we got I know okay before anybody says this in the comments I know it does look like like a tower but that is uh, not look like a tower it's not like a rocket ship my bad but this is called the duplex tower. What this means is that this pillar is actually a duplex to go way further up than I expected besides the floors. And now we get into the one of the weirdest but also a coolest design that me and Ian, thanks to him for this build, uh, for helping them on this build. This is called the overlaps tower. Basically it's a bunch of stairs, towering over it or not or a bunch of buildings towering over it like stairs until you get to the top it looks like this and that is pretty uh, pretty amazing but also great I kind of yawn right there I don't know why I did that excuse excuse my yawn and this is a uh, CL gold tower and this is where we keep all the finance with everything the CL bank which is pretty cool this is used to be a monument for somebody and now it's called the CL Jackal and that's it 
And then we got Crystal's house right over here. Hers is not as bad. But it's pretty cool and a unique design what she did it and based on the outlining what I did. Including she has her own tree. Then we got to this. Or we, then we get to this and then we'll get to the rest of the buildings, don't worry. And soon enough. We got the CT Cool merch store. Um be very real and disclaimer. Caleb does not have merch yet. I swear to God, he does not have merch. If he was, then then I would kind of like do a shout out and let you guys know. But and then we got the clothing store, which it's an idea to kind of like have all these as clothing, pretty much. And then we got the church, and we got Caleb's friend Dobby. If you don't know who he is, he's a friend of his. And he's very, very funny. He does the well job with the things, with the events, with his own old server that that we have on Discord. But that we had, I meant to say. But he does a, such a good good job with this. And you know, due to my controversy, yeah. But we got this golf tower. It wears uh, all these kind of colors. Besides the last one, is probably, it's probably this current area. Um. This is where it can look through what's on the golf course and what's going on. And we got a Prismarine Tower, which is a CL Prismarine. Took the inspiration of the MSK world. And then, of course, we got Jail. No jokes. It's literally just called Jail. Where you go in and you got these jail cells right here and that's it. And that's it for this part. Then we got the CL Apartments, which is pretty a unique design, where you can see all these beds, these rooms, and yeah, it's pretty pretty good. And then we got the CL Theater. As a fun fact, another fun fact, this is not true or anything, this entire area, about this size, was used to be the CL uh, the CL Theater, and I was like, you know what, this this is too big, and let's tear the tear it down, and that's what I did, and we made it a little bit more out, you know, more smaller area, and then of course we got a golf shop here, and apparently this is where you pick up your golf clubs. By the way, they're hose. And then we get to the, well, this is not a big three. Well, to put it this way, the duplex tower is now third because of this, but this is fourth. The, the fourth tallest building is the Red Diamond, Diamond Tower. And I love this tower. The people who was trying to help me, helped me with this, which is uh, Aiden, which is uh, Lone. Ian as well. And of course, Crystal helping me with this. Helping with us with this. Including the, sc the Skyball Tower right here. We'll get that in a minute about what it, what it does. What is the purpose? But we need to check out this 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 building. The lightning tower is still the second tower of this day. Not gonna lie. But you, it looks so wide, based on the design, and all the way to the top is where you get the thin part. But there's a command right here, and what it does is very cool. The reason why it's called the lightning tower is, yeah, because of that. And then right over here, we got the, the cup, got the hospital, and then we got another tower, which is the CL Modern Tower, I think it's called. Yeah. And then we got the Sky Mall Tower. Okay. I'm going to go up here as best as I can. I can still use this if I wanted to. Right here, this part of the tower. This right here is the this part of the entire height of everything this is the tallest building in the entirety of this world aka part of the city and no jokes and i like this tower it still has to be the overall tallest building and i like it and now we got the rest unfortunately that we had to get through the rest and of course we got a cologne a cologne statue or placement and then we got the CL Park Lookout for the Oh my god. Hey, so yawning. Excuse my yawning again. 
This is where these villagers can offer, 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 I can't even say the word, Oversation of the, the area of Seal Park, which is pretty cool. And it still kept its borders without the iron bars, or the bars if you already know. And it still kept with the, the signs to letting you guys know this is still part of Seal Park. And then of course we got the headquarters. This is going to be a play a major role. Okay, this is probably a major role within uh, one parts of the stories that I have of Stone of Bronzer. Keep that in mind. Remember, the city is from the fictional called that, but there's actually a fun fact to it once we get to the end. I think I kind of spoiled it just a bit, but my bad. Of course, we got another house, and then we got another tower, which is the value tower, and there's a reason behind this. It's because it's... Um, Keeping the values of everything that has, you know, what's going on in this world. Got another villager house. And then we got Ian's treehouse, aka the treehouse of all. And he set this up for a reason to have, um, you know. And down here we got this garden or of, of uh, you know, pretty much uh, taking it of the farm. We have part of the tree that's sticking out, and that's pretty much an overall look. And then we got these, uh, another buildings here, another buildings here. We got the White Castle, which I call it because of the, the name of the company. Then, of course, we got another tower, which is called the Sand Tower. Then the short building, and then the tall building right over there. Or the two-story building right over there. This part of the Seal City right here is called the World of Tomorrow Buildings. These are pretty much like stairs going around like this. And then we got the, uh, uh, as a, a look tower, or like a, a display tower. However, it's not used for going onto it, which I kind of like this one. It fits very well in the CL City. And then, of course, we got the firefighter, uh, the fire station, firefighter station, wherever you want to call it. Then it's the pool. Oh, right, this is probably the last pool, I think. I know there's another pool. Oh, yeah. Lucian has another pool within his house, and I decided to do that. Of course, we got more houses right over here. And then another tower named uh, Glow. And then we got another set of buildings right over here like houses that that is just literal tent that's what is named and then this is very interesting the person who built this adrian aka red ninja i want to say this y'all done yourself if you're watching this video and it looks great this is a a inspire nation of a building that we know but we can't say the name of the city because if we do we have some problems here, but it looks great. It looks amazing, and it's perfect wherever you, wherever you want to go and watch a movie. And then we got a coffee shop called CZ, and then we got a school, which is just a school, just a plain school. And then we got another tower. Or the last, I think these are the last two towers. Is no, besides this one, we'll get th we'll get that right now. And so there's another house villager over there. This is called the Cross Guard Tower. This right here is called the Cross Tower because based on as you saw a little bit, looks like this. And then we got the the Quantum Tower, and you might recognize the shape of the building. It is the inspiration of a guy who made the concept of when. 9-11 happened I do not I, I swear I do not want to talk about it but as an Easter egg knowing that this is like the very first concept designs of, of the building of the one world trade center so I decided to keep in here as well it's pretty cool and then we go we got another ridiculous cool cool uh, tree house we have here but it's pretty much a tree tower and when you go in from the, the tree stump, or not the tree stump, the tree parts of it, where it's the log, and you go up to the parts of here. I don't know what the hell did Ian put this up, 
And that... I'm concerned. <laughs> I think he's the one who put this up. I don't know, but... And then, of course, we got this building, which I don't want to forget, which is Ian's own personal tower called this... called pretty much his own tower and has his own, you know, favorite colors in here along with his own island. Island. I'm trying... Am I trying to say island tower? What the fudge? I meant to say, um, what has the iron golem inside of the tower. There you go. And then, I think, I think that's it. There's nothing else left that's within here. But, we do have one more thing. Yeah. But, uh, actually, two more things. This right here leads down to the lower parts of this where you want to go over here, over here and that's it and it leads down to this this is Aiden's bunker but it's called CL, CL military bunker and the cool design about this you have a a, a opening uh, automatic door and here we go again killing another villager get out of here and right in here this is pretty basic and when you and whenever you go over here this is where everybody's uh, own bunker safety here here's mine it looks like this I have not changed this bed yet but it's fine and of course we got Aiden's I'm I do not want to go in there because there's a lot of things that can go wrong we got Lucian's we got Ian's again with his no paintings at all or his painting and then we got Caleb's throne, throne room, aka his throne bedroom, actually. And that is pretty much it, I think. With the entirety of CL East. Now let's go as an overall aspect. So this highway, um, which we have to go all the way back. Hold on for a second. Alright. We have to go all the way back. By the way, as you see these transportations throughout CL City, this is when you are done with the whole entire course. It leads to the location where it is and goes right to the location you go back. Which is pretty awesome. And we also we have some training area too, which I did forget. And maybe haven't shown us yet. But this is what it is. We got the driver range the driving range, we got the how how far and how you how go you could go right close to the hole we got the chip in shots and we got a putter literally we got a putter and remember use an end pro as yourself as a golf ball but right here is where the starting line will be for the highway and then this is where this usually or where it used to be goes from here goes cut from all around here and it didn't have it all the way and I decided, like, you know what? Let's go all the way. And it goes, like, if you look into this the, this second map right here, as you see this little bit of blue line, that's where the entirety of the bridges will go. Or the entire bridge that goes around it of the highway will go. Which is pretty awesome. And I think that's it. I hope this will kind of like clear things up. Oh, yeah, wait. One more thing, as you see these golf holes, these are the final golf holes that you see with throughout uh, CL City. Maybe some that you see, this is hole threes. How the hell are you supposed to get to here? Well, you could go right here or here, but it's still a par three. <laughs> Which you have to figure out a way to get a hole in one. And that's it. That is pretty much it. Seattle City has been covered within three episodes. And you know what? I'm going to stay on my own house. Oh, no, wait. I keep on forgetting. Sorry about that. I thought it was I was done. Is this. There you go. If you press this button, where this fact will be, right next to the Rubik's Cube, or under the Rubik's Cube, this is actually 
in the story called Stunnerbrancher, and no kidding, it is in Stunnerbrancher. Not gonna lie, if you hear the audios, well, if once you hear the audio, once it, once, whenever, what time does Seal City gets a chance to be appeared, and the story as a whole, oh man, it would be freaking awesome. But that is it for the entirety of three episodes of Seal City. This is how me, Lucian, and everybody else, for that matter, helps with this project. And I want to say the big huge thanks to Lucian, which is how, by the way, his house is right over there. If you've seen the, the, the last episode, and I did mention his name a couple of few times, but that's fine. We got Luis, we got Aiden, Ian, Crystal, I don't know why I'm dropping in with my own back button of the, the controller I have. CT Cool, aka Caleb, I meant to say. And then, of course, yours truly, who put up the coding for all of this, Adrian, aka Red Ninja. And if you guys, all seven of you, if you guys are watching this, thank you for making this as possible as you guys can be. Because without you guys, including everybody else within this world, has joined and also joined late, or joined early in the very beginning up until the end, thank you for making this world as possible. I really do appre appreciate that. And it's been two years, and it's finally done. We don't have to worry about this. But, probably in the future videos, we could probably use this, this city. And I'm going to say this. There's going to be a copied world, and I think I did mention this a few episodes ago, or the very first episode for that matter, that I'll be duplicating this world where we could just do something wherever we want. Like, we could do golf, we could do hide and seek, we could do, like, fighting, we could do, like, some battle royale. We could do everything on this world as possible, and we could just have this out to you guys to see if you guys want more of this as possible. Other than that, thank you guys, and thank you for everybody who, like I said, to the people, especially, like I said, thank you for everything that I have made it through, and also going through the bad times, and as also checking on me every single time, and even throughout the controversy as well, and even though it, it died off afterwards, as everybody's seen the final arc, and yeah. So yeah, that is it for this video. That is it for the CL City review, or pretty much show you guys around. And that is pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay fresh, everybody. I kind of stuttered right there. I don't know why. I don't know why. But as always, peace out, everyone. But I'm gonna say this again. Stay fresh, everybody. Ooh.